Welcome to Brooklyn College Presents. I'm Elizabeth Massey. And today, we're featuring America Works, a company that finds permanent jobs for people on welfare. What makes America Works unique is that it's not a government organization. It's a private business. To give you a little insight about how America Works works, let's look at a tape that was provided through the courtesy of the McNeil Lair News Hour. For the past 15 months, Visa McPherson has been working as a mail clerk at a prestigious old New York law firm. Right now, I deal with uniforms and I deal with receiving packages, important documents that have to go to lawyers. It's the start of a brand new life for the 24-year-old single mother, a high school dropout with a history of receiving welfare. It's the first job she's ever had. I was looking for a job and I seen the ad in the paper. I called them, went in for an interview, started classes, and from this, it's uphill. Taking the poor up the hill from public assistance to the labor force is the business of this company. America Works, can I help you? America Works is a private, profit-making company with branches in New York and Connecticut. During its almost five years of operation, America Works has helped more than a thousand welfare recipients find jobs, jobs that 90 percent of them still hold. When you come into us, we work with the skills, your ability, your schooling, and your experience. Orientation is the first stop. The clients find out about America Works mostly through classified ads the company places regularly in area newspapers. The ads list available jobs and specifically invite welfare recipients to apply. Next comes what America Works calls a pre-employment class, a mandatory week-long session where applicants familiarize themselves with routine work habits like being on time. Also intangibles that help build the self-esteem lost through years of debilitating welfare dependency. The law of expectation says that what you expect really becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy. Walk in there with a positive attitude, have that confidence, and it will just come through. What are some of the don'ts at an interview? The business lab class offers a safe place to brush up on rusty typing skills, and more important, to practice interviewing techniques. America Works has placed people in entry-level positions in accounting firms, printing, publishing, fashion, and law offices. One of its most unique features is the support it provides to the worker during a four-month probationary period. Can you take your problems and issue like that? You're not coming in late? Oh, no. Come on now. Let's make sure. Let's check it on you. <laughs> no. During the probationary period, a company representative <laughs> visits the site a few days a week to head off any real or potential problems between the worker and the company. It's called Try Before You Buy. It is also during this time that America Works pays the worker a $3.80 hourly startup salary. The company pays about $7 an hour to cover benefits and other costs. If an employee remains in the job for a year, the government gives the employer a tax credit. One of the employers now closely involved with America Works is Rosenman and Colon, a top-flight law firm in New York. Over the past few years, it has hired about 25 people from America Works. They were brought in by Larry Emerson, director of office services. Unlike some potential employers, Emerson says he's never been put off by the welfare history of these workers. Actually, I look at it as being a plus. Uh, you have a person that's coming off of public assistance uh, that can pretty much sit home, but they are out looking for a job. Uh, so therefore, I mean, I look at that as being a, a motivated person, uh, that they want to come out, they want to work, and the only thing we have to do is give them the opportunity. On this particular day, America Works representative Phil Jones was asking about Michael Goldstone, a 34-year-old single father who's been employed for almost two years. When we caught up with him, he was just one week into his new job, hard at work and very optimistic. It will work out because I'm the two work out. So um, all I do is just uh, do the things that I'm recommended to do and uh, just do my best. Both Michael Goldston and Visa McPherson have big plans for their future in the labor market. 
to move up in this company. <laughs> to move in this company. I don't want to leave, that's for sure. And now, let's go into the studio where our host, Bill Tate, will interview our guests from America Works.